بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و علیہ محمد و بارک وسلم السلام علیکم آئی ایم علی عباس اینڈ ایٹ دا مومنٹ آئی ایم ان یوسٹن یو ایس اے اینڈ ایٹ دا بیک یو کین سی دس از دا مریم ماسک ویری فیمس ماسک اوور ہیئر اینڈ اے ویری پروفاؤنڈ لیڈی از ود می شی از عائشہ حفیظ آئی ایم ویری ہیپی ٹو میٹ ہر شی کنورٹیڈ ان ٹو اسلام اینڈ شی ریسرچ آن اسلام اینڈ دین he she get convinced and then she adopted islam we will ask aisha how did he converted into islam and what inspired her assalam alaikum aisha wa alaikum assalam how are you i'm fine you are a born american yes and uh, you was uh, in a christian family yes you belongs to a christian family yes so please tell us what makes you uh, to the research Islam and you converted to Islam? Um, I converted to Islam back in 1996. I give all the credits to a Pakistani family that uh, I used to work for. Mm-hmm. The lady's name, her name was Shagufta. Shagufta. Yes, and her husband's name was Fayaz. And uh, so I give them all the credits uh, that are, you know, blessings from Allah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was my birthday and... Uh, Shagufta, she had asked me if I would mind reading something. I said, no, no problem. And she gave me the Quran. Hmm. Um, she asked me with one stipulation not to put it down. Okay. Okay. So For the then, respect level. Yes, exactly. Hmm. So I, I, I took it and uh, I wasn't objective or anything because I was already curious about different religions throughout my earlier lifestyle. Okay. Or life. I had went to many different kind of Christian hmm. um, churches, Baptist, Presbyterian, Catholic, all of those uh, different uh, churches, they didn't suit me. Okay. So I was still questioning things. At one point, I even studied Judaism. Judaism, okay. Yes. And uh, so um, they introduced me to the Quran. And of course, I had many, many questions. Like I did, what was that? What was your curiosity? What was the top three questions which ra- raises in well, your mind? Because, you know, in Christianity, you, you have the Trinity. Yes. And uh, so I've always had questions about that. Um, and then I was curious to how there could be a quote and unquote, uh, Jesus is God. Yes. Um, that does not inspire you did not uh i never understood that thing. okay i i believe in doing your research not just believing in what you're told throughout your life mm. so um i studied the quran i didn't convert right away okay it took me basically about maybe six to six to nine months because i read the quran and then i would go and uh, have questions and i would write them all down and then Um, Shagufta had told me that if she couldn't answer the questions, she would take me to the imam and let him answer the questions. To the, the scholars, questions. to some scholars. Yes. Okay. And so then she introduced me to Sheikh Mandu in Houston, Texas. Mm. And uh, I went to him with many questions. Mm. And he answered them in such a way that I understood everything very clearly. It okay. was very transparent. Mm. So, um, and then I used to go because I considered myself to be a, a, a like a, a baby. Mm. And so I used to go and sit with the youth program when they would have studies and I would sit and I would study and study and study. Mm. Um, so just after a period of time of, of studying and, and having all my questions answered that I needed to be answered to be satisfied, mm. I converted to Islam. Okay. And uh, it wasn't until afterwards, many years after that, then I decided to get married. Um, a lot of people come across the opinion that once you, like, uh, they see you, they automatically think, oh, yes, because you converted, you must have been married to a um, a Muslim. Yes. That's not necessarily the truth. Mm. Um, you can me, be remain in your religion and you can marry with the Muslim guy. It, uh, for me, I will always be just married with a Muslim. I, don't, okay. I, I would never marry outside. Okay, what inspires you in Islam teachings when you read Quran? And mm-hmm. what makes you inspiration? Can you t- explain two, three things, the good things of Islam which inspire you and you converted into Islam? The respect. Respect towards the respect women? respect towards women. Okay. Yes. 
and uh, you know just the satisfaction of knowing that there's only one god okay and that that one god is allah okay. you know and uh but the respect in um the truthfulness mm. of majority of muslims i'm not saying that all muslims are angels okay. i'm just saying majority of them are very truthful mm. and the thing that inspired me so much was the couple that i um said you know they, they were very much big impression to me because they were so devoted to islam i will say when i met them i've met many 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 muslims throughout my life okay, okay? these individuals were so devoted they i can honestly say they are true 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 muslim okay i have seen people that pick parts and leave parts what they want to practice no these people were very punctual, punctual they okay. prayed they they really through their actions showed their dedication and uh, devotion towards islam so that was very impressive okay me. tell me what is the difference between your life before islam and now islam you are more satisfied or you are more happy or you are feeling good what what is the difference between your before islam life and after accepting islam life uh before there was no limitations okay where there should be limitations mm -hmm. in in christianity you can go and do anything okay and everybody believes you can go and do anything and just ask for forgiveness and automatically you're forgiven mm -hmm. no that's not the case we have certain conditions we all know that you know um if we do a sin that we we should s sincerely ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. and try try our best not to repeat it because then there's no sincerity there we know our limitations we know our restrictions mm -hmm. we know our guidelines that we need to follow in everything so those things are very important to me okay aisha hafiz you have been faced many criticism yes and many things from your family from your friends because you grow up in a christian community so how you handle these things and maybe there are some women who are listening to you at the moment mm -hmm. maybe they are fear to adopt islam mm -hmm. but psychologically philosophically conceptually they are convinced with islam but they are having fear how you face this kind of uh, criticism when you adopt islam I have faced many criticisms many, many times. I mean, initially when I had converted to Islam, my family kind of like distanced themselves from me. Okay. Um and that was very hurtful. But um but over time things subsided because you know as you you know blood is thicker than water eventually the, you know they will for, forgive and accept and move on. Mm -hmm. Um but i've also faced criticism amongst the muslim community people i've met that say oh no she is truly not muslim i have been through many things um in my lifetime and uh to me it it, it it's hurtful especially if it's coming from the muslim community people will say oh no she's not muslim she's just married uh, to pakistani no that's not the case mm -hmm. i have also been married i also have had divorce but for me i will say when i leave this earth i will know that i i'm leaving this earth as a muslim that mm. is very important to me mm. you know um that's one reason how come i recently had got married because i wanted to be assured that when i leave this earth that i will be buried as a muslim, muslim okay that's very important to me mm. no mostly girls i have seen that when they are going to marry with a muslim guy yes at that time they convert into islam but in your case no. before marriage you yes. study and you get convinced and mm -hmm. then you converted into uh, yeah. the religion islam yes because that is important very important factor that is a you know before you take that step it's not just a like oh yes i just accept islam mm. no that's not the situation mm. you, you have to know in your heart 100% that i would say honestly i would say i didn't choose islam is islam chose me chose you okay does that make sense yeah 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 um but for people who are going to convert to islam i would highly 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 recommend you 
not to convert just because you got married to somebody who's Muslim. Okay. I would say do your studies. Studies, okay. Study first because that is a serious devotion between you and your maker. Yes. And you have to be accountable. You have to answer to a higher authority when you leave this earth. Mm. And it is very important for you and your soul to know where, where your heart and your belief and your faith lies that was a very beautiful and very conceptual message from your side that you said don't just change your religion for getting married for someone with someone yes. do research and do study can you tell me just this will be my last question can you tell me the three ways how a person can research and do study when he or she is going to convert into islam i would say go to the local masjids Local masjid. Go okay. to the local masjid. Speak mm. to the people. Don't be narrow-minded. Mm. Have your uh, your mind open. Sit down with the youth groups. It may be a little bit embarrassing considering that they may be younger than you. Mm. But the more knowledge that you can get, the better you'll be. And then I will say this too, mm. to the men who marry women outside of the Islamic community, mm. you have to be an example for your wife yes in order for her to want to follow you in islam mm. if she sees that you're truthful that you're sincere that you're not doing bad deeds and your only intention is to do what is right people always will fight uh, follow what is right as opposed to what's wrong yes. and what is good they will follow yes and leave bad okay hopefully inshallah thank you very much aisha hafiz can you please recite us for uh, us for some uh, ayat or Alhamdulillah or what, what you have learned uh, what do you want me to recite Surah Fatiha yes Surah Fatiha yes please uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Maliki al-Madin Iyya kanabudu wa Iyya kanasta'in Ittina suratha mustaqeen Surat al-Azina an-amta alayhim Gairil magadubi wa alayhim aladolim ameen that's a very good pronunciation. How you learn, this will be my last question, how, do, how you learn this Arabic language to recite namaz and to read Quran? You can read all the Quran. I've read the Quran all in English. Oh, you read in English. Okay. Yes. And then how you this remember this ayat and this surah, fatiha and this namaz? Well, for me, I learned and, and this, I, I, what I, when I initially had began, what I did is I wrote down all of the prayers, the five prayers, mm -hmm. and uh, then I would go and I would play them on YouTube okay. and I would pray as the... The pronunciation, yes. the sound. Okay. Yes, and I would memorize it. Okay, Aisha, please, thank you very much. Yes. May God bless you. Inshallah. And this, your step, maybe many people are listening to you. Maybe they are having some questions in their mind. Maybe they can also meet you because you have converted maybe you can help them also hopefully inshallah thank you very much you're welcome uh, this was aisha Hafiz, and uh, she must be coming here to the mariam masjid for the prayers yes, am i right exactly yes thank you very much you're welcome